What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, uh, I'd like to give a huge shout out to everybody that came to the uh, live stream last night. We had a good time. You know, it was good to sit and talk to you guys, my family, about some of the stuff I go through and have went through in my life. You guys really got a kick out of it. So, you know, it's one of those things where we do this every Friday. If you guys have missed it, I'll leave it in the, uh, one of the pop-ups at the end. Some of you guys said that was one of the best live streams we've done so far, and I do appreciate that. But I'm going to talk about this news that happened during the live stream, and it's about this guy right here, uh, Robert Card. This is the uh, mass shooter that was in Maine. We spoke about this multiple times. News has come out, breaking news last night, that uh, this guy took his own life and he was found deceased before police could catch him. This right here, the writing was on the wall. I've said this, and you know, a lot of you guys like, Steve, you was right. He's not, I already knew that. When I seen that, he had a military background came from a family, supposedly was a well-to-do family. The amount of shame he brought on his people, that's my opinion. They know who he was, knew he couldn't be far. Walls was closing in on him, said he took his life. Now, the, the part that I don't understand is they said he had a self-inflicted gunshot wound and was found in a dumpster. I guess when you're searching around, you'll find somebody in a dump dumpster. And, you know, I mean, you wouldn't, I don't know why you would find somebody in a dumpster, but like if you're searching around, I guess you would check a dumpster and boom, there he was. Or if a helicopter caught him, because I don't see, it's just weird that they found him like that. And then they found him at his job like that. Now, supposedly he was found in the main recycling plant somewhere. I guess this is where he worked. They said it was a job where his job. So he went to his job and took his own life. Go figure. One or two things is what I think of with that being the story that they told us. This guy did this and really didn't have no plan. And they were looking in the wrong places the whole time. And the other thing is. He never intended on leaving and going on a run. Well, I think he did, but I just think he couldn't conceive going past a certain point because he didn't plan out that far. Now, the strange thing is they said he went, he was found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound in the dumpster. So what did he do? Sit on the end of the dumpster, shoot himself and then fall in it. That's the only way I see that happening, which, which is strange. Too. That's strange, too. But um, everybody seems to be relieved. The community is at rest. And I want you to think about something, just the kind of world we live in now. Someone went out, killed a lot of people, caused a lot of heartbreak, a lot of tragedy in a state, had the state in panic. Then when he kills himself, everybody feels relief. Like, ah, think about this. The panic of one man just doing a senseless act got the whole state in terror. Just something to think about. Now, this guy, they said this guy has died. They had a, a press conference. And I'm going to say something real quick. If somebody brought this up to me, and I just figured it's funny. It's, it's amidst all of this chaos and, you know, sadness. It was something that I thought was strange. And I know a lot of you guys seen it, too. One of my subscribers, shout out Kim Jacobs. She said last night, Steve, you need to do a story on this. So, like, I'm going to mix two things in this. I don't know sign language. I know a few signs, but they are signs normal people know, and they are not the good signs you want to know, you know. And uh, the lady that was doing the sign language stuff, I don't know her name. Man, she had me screaming. Did you see the facial expression she was making? And I was like, I've never seen anybody do sign language like that. She was talking and moving it. Doing all this stuff, like making all these weird faces. And I was like, I've never seen anybody that was deaf do sign language like that. So I just wanted to shout her out. She was serious and intense. If you don't believe me, just go look at some of these uh, press conferences. Look at her face. The lady standing there doing the sign. And she's serious as I can. I don't know what. I don't know her name. But if any of y'all know her, 
have her contact me in my email address, which is in the uh, description box, and just say, hey, I'm the person that did the sign. I would love to talk to her by phone or just email and see how she got to where she was doing her faces like that. Because I want to do a video on her. I think that would be cool to do a video because like she captivated the, audience, the uh, mind of a lot of people in the audience where like, they're like, who is he? Why is she doing that? So I would love to ask her a few questions. So if any of you people know her out there in Maine, what her name is, contact me. And if you've got contact with me, I would love to contact her and have her on the show. Because I think, I, I think that would be cool because a lot of people was interested in who she was and they was entertained by the seriousness of her doing the signs. But um, I figured, like I said, I figured he was going to do that. I figured he was going to do that. I don't know what what his extension of contact with people outside of Maine is, I was thinking he was shooting to Canada. He was causing a bunch of diversions and having people go over here and there, and then he was going to eventually shoot to Canada. That's what I thought he was originally going to do. Because I would figure, you know, we have borders that border us to Canada. Maine is right at the top. I don't know how secure that border is, especially with all that wilderness up there. I'm like, he might have had an escape plan but yesterday, I was saying, if they don't find this guy soon, he's probably in Canada already. Because, I mean, you know, the borders are secure, but I'm like, I'm thinking nobody's trying to run into Canada through Maine. I don't think, I don't know how secure that, that area is to get to Canada. So that was one of the things that went through my head yesterday that I really didn't speak about. Because I'm like, if they don't catch this guy by Monday, he's going to be in Maine. I mean, he's going he to be in Canada. But uh, evidently, he wasn't. He wound up taking his own life. Like I said, he would either do a standoff when they could start closing in or he'd just go take his own life. Now, supposedly this guy took his own life way before the police got to him. Just one of them things. A lot of times these people do these uh, mass shootings with a plan. The plan don't go the way they thought it was going to go. They don't get the response they thought they was going to get. The, his people know it's him. The shame he brought on his family. Him coming down off his enraged high, you know what I mean? Not drug wise, but you know, just the adrenaline, him being upset and stuff like that comes down and then you realize, okay, look, I did this, I did that. It didn't give me the feeling, the exuberant feeling I thought it was going to do by proving this point that I'm going to do this to so certain people and they don't want to go to jail and face the victims and see the faces of the horror that they caused taking somebody away from people that love them because they had problems within themselves. It's just one of them things. I think all of it applied to him. Hey, I was going to go out and blaze the glory or uh, worst case scenario. They're going to catch me. I don't want to go through this. Boom. Into the dumpster he goes. I still don't understand. I, I guess he had to sit on the side of the dumpster and like blast himself and fall in the thing. Like I told you, a lot of times people think their lives is trash and this is proof of it. Boom. And then he went in the garbage. That was unfortunate because I don't know, maybe he could have been helped. And it's messed up that somebody had to go through this much lengths to kill themselves because they didn't want to be here, but they took a lot of people that did. And I'm just saying, stay the main. You know what I'm saying? My heart, subscribers' hearts, a lot of people's hearts go out to you guys this weekend. Finally, you can rest a little bit. Hopefully, the families can get some type of closure and begin the healing process. And like I said, all around, it's a tragedy. I can't fathom somebody lo losing their life that I love in such a messed up way where they were just having fun and some random guy came and took it away from them. But um, I just wanted to bring that up. Robert Card is gone. Unfortunate. But I mean, it is what it is. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, special thanks to Kim Jacobs out there in Maine. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.